Hi children, how are you? Welcome to our computer lesson. And as you can see today, we are going to draw an umbrella. So you join with me. You follow the simple steps that I'm going to show you so that we can do it together. So first of all, you open your paint. So you click here on the start button. Type paint on your keyboard. Mm -hmm. How oh, there you are. Now I want us to, to choose an oval shape. Then we are going to drag to draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today I'm going to teach you some new ways of cutting this one into a half. So are you seeing here where it is written select? Okay, you click here. I want you to cut a halfway of this. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? Okay, let me take it back. I start again. Draw. Mm -hmm. And then after drawing your circle, I want you to click on select. Come and cut a halfway. I think this is our halfway. After clicking on select and selecting a halfway, I want you on the keyboard, you press delete. Okay. Next, I want us to draw a line a halfway of this one. Mm -hmm. Just want it to be straight here. Yeah. So after drawing, I'm going to show you again on how to use a curve. You see this line here? This is a curve. So you are going to draw from this point to this one. And one thing about the curve, it bends. So after drawing like this, I want you to pull here. Mm -hmm. Click on the curve again. You come here. Mm -hmm. So after doing that, click on the cover again. If you don't do that, you know what happens if you click here, it will bend. So you have to click. Remember I told you that if something comes here and you don't want it, there's this arrow pointing. There's this arrow pointing back so you click take it back so we start again mm -hmm. so you ensure you don't leave space you join from this end to another end and then you curve it inside you click on the curve again you come here click on the curve okay. You bend it inside. Okay. Okay. Now next we are going to click on the rectangle. This one here. At the center here. I can move it using the arrows at the center. I try to reduce it a bit. Okay. 
Then I pick the rounded rectangle. I'll come and put the zoom here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to click, you can choose here, you can put either the oval shape. So we have not chosen the oval. You can choose the oval shape up here. At the same time, you can choose the triangle. Hmm. I think this is better. And after doing that, now we are going to pour color. Mm -hmm. Not black. Let's start with red. So when you do something, you can come here and click on the arrow, take it back. When you don't want something, you can take that one back also. Mm -hmm. I wanted color green. You pour inside, you come to red, you come to yellow. Which other color? Let me see. You can do blue. Then here, I'm going to do gray. And then here I can do black and black. In here in show I painted. So we have our umbrella there. So again I'm going to do quickly a small umbrella here so that you can follow again. So I've said you click on the oval shape. After you have clicked on the oval shape, you come here, you click on select. Then you cut this one a halfway. I believe that is a halfway. Mm -mm. You cut through a circle. Mm -hmm. Let me click on select now. And then after I've selected on the keyboard, I press delete. And then I come here, I take the line, I draw a halfway. Mm -hmm. After drawing a halfway, I click on the curve, just do like this, and then I have it. Click on the curve again, come here. It's like I haven't clicked on the curve. Have it. Click on the cover again. It's like I haven't clicked. Let me click. Okay. Sorry. Click on the cover now. Ensure you join this one from one end to another end. Curve it inside. Come here. Join end to end, don't leave any space. Mm -mm. Take it back. Ensure you click on that arrow I told you. It's like my mouse has a problem in clicking. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next thing I'll pick on the rectangle. I move it at the center, I can use the arrows on the keyboard to position it. And then I click on the rounded rectangle. Uh -huh. Let me make it smaller. A little bit, reduce the size. And then I bring the triangle up here. 
-hmm. So from there, I'm going to pour color now. I'm going to start with blue. Yellow. Green. Mm -hmm. And here, I'll add gray. And here, black. So that is our umbrella. So here, I can decide to change the background. The color, I can decide to use, to use light gray. So we have our umbrella. I hope you will follow this video, post it, and yeah, I know you are going to make your own umbrella, beautiful umbrella. Until the next lesson, bye-bye.